Welcome to another edition of Daily Hope from Victory Lutheran Church in Mesa, Arizona. I'm David Palmquist. In many ways, Thanksgiving hasn't been the same traditional gathering that we've gotten used to. For lots of people, because of loss, age, a pandemic, rising costs, airline problems, it can be a difficult holiday. But don't think that that ever means Thanksgiving is canceled. God allows disease to come. God has allowed it to get to the point where people have to cancel family gatherings and holiday celebrations for various reasons. Despite all that, however, there are still tremendous reasons for thanksgiving. Psalm 118's encouragement is true regardless of our circumstances. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, His love endures forever. Sometimes God has us go through times of crisis, disappointment, and loss, so we see the things we might otherwise quickly take for granted, and it leads to thanksgiving. As we reflect on the things we might miss this year, remember these things that help us say thanks to God, even when things are disappointing or different. Now here's a little short sampling of a thanksgiving list. Family. What a gift from God. I don't deserve any of them, but God loves me through them. He knows we're not perfect, but he still loves our home with his goodness. Teachers. Teachers' jobs aren't easy, but they're so important. God blesses us and our kids through them. Grilling, because it's the best way to cook, especially charcoal. It's fun, and it makes food taste great every time. Thanks for that, Lord. Jesus' suffering. What he endured on this earth is infinitely worse than anything else we could ever endure. He faced the wrath of God and suffered hell trillions of times over on the cross. I never asked him to do it for me. He just did it. It was awful, but he wanted to, because that was the only way for you and me to be right with God. What love! Thank you, Jesus. And then God's acceptance. Because of Jesus, we are accepted into God's family, right here, right now. Warts, failures, imperfections, and all. Because God sees us as he sees Jesus. Amazingly, we're good with God. The heavenly banquet, better than the most delicious Thanksgiving feast with family and loved ones, is the banquet waiting for all God's children in heaven. No more anything bad. We'll raise a glass together, make a toast to the Savior who did it all so we could be there. It's going to be amazing. And that's just a start. Some plans may be canceled from time to time, But cancel Thanksgiving? Never. No way. It might look different sometimes, but God is still good, and his love keeps enduring forever. Let's be sure to give him thanks. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Let's pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, it's so great to gather together with others to thank and praise you. We do it individually. We thank you daily for everything. And yet, when we get together as a group, it's fun to list things that we are thankful for, especially your love and forgiveness, your salvation in Jesus, our Savior. We are always so thankful for that. Bless us this Thanksgiving day and this holiday, and let us praise you always in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for joining us again today for Daily Hope from God's Word. Please remember to press like, click, share, and subscribe to our channel. And remember, the Lord said, Do not be afraid. I have called you by name. You are mine.